Hello, it's Brick Bros UK and we have at last the LEGO Marvel Super Heroes Tanker Truck Takedown 76067, which is the fourth and final Captain America Civil War set. And we've been looking forward to getting this because it's the only set to come with the brand new Spider-Man, and it's not a bad price costing £34.99p, $29.99 and €34.99, and the box graphic shows a continuation of the airport battle with Captain America and Hawkeye taking on Vision and Spider-Man, which is cool, and if we turn over there's images of the play features and accessories. So now let's go ahead and get this built. And here it is, and it took us 26 minutes to build, and it consists of 330 pieces. And from this first look, the set looks really nice, and was definitely worth waiting for. And the builds aren't very detailed, but they are all about play, which is cool. And you get the large yellow rocks on tanker truck, a windsock flag build, and Hawkeye's bike. And the minifigures are Hawkeye, Captain America, Vision, and Spider-Man, which is a pretty cool lineup. So let's start by getting a closer look at these four. Now the star of the set, Spider-Man, is exclusive to this set and new to LEGO, and this minifigure has some of the best printing we've seen for some time, and it's so detailed it feels like a San Diego Comic Con exclusive, and we love it! And you've got printing on his dark blue and red dual moulded legs that marry up to his heavily printed red torso, with dark blue printing too, and it's very cool. Spider-Man also has dark blue arms with red printing all the way up them, and it's a nice touch adding extra quality to the minifigure. And at the back the torso's printing continues, and the back of the head has web printing that also occurs on the front, and combined with the two white eyes, it creates his nice mask. Overall, Spider-Man is one of the main reasons anyone will want to get this set, and he doesn't disappoint with his awesome printed outfit and mask, and in the future we'd love to see regular Marvel set Spider-Mans having at least some of this printing. Spider-Man also gets one of these new white web shoot pieces we've also seen in the other recent Spider-Man sets. And we've noticed they've improved the hand grip clipping connection by adding this white stud piece, because the other sets didn't have this piece and we found the web piece would fall out from time to time, and it's a simple solution to solve the problem, which is great. Next up is Vision, who's the same minifigure from the Avengers Age of Ultron Quinjet City Chase set, and it's great you can get this quality hero in a smaller set now. And he's got great printing on his light green legs and torso creating his outfit, and on his back he wears his shiny golden yellow fabric cape, adding to his grand look. And underneath the torso's good printing continues. And Vision's purpley pink head has some printing on the back, and his calm face on the front with cool purple eyes. Overall, Vision is a quality minifigure, and to put him in this smaller set makes him more widely available and cheaper to get, which is great for fans who missed out on him. And now we come to Captain America, who's the same minifigure from the airport battle set, with plain dark blue legs and the same printed torso creating his outfit, with brown hands for gloves. He of course comes armed with his shield, and at the back the good printing continues on his torso and head, with his mask face printed on the front. Overall, Captain America is still cool to get, but we feel maybe his head and hairpiece version, like in Black Panther Pursuit, would have been better to get instead. And last up, it's Hawkeye, who's also got a new look and is exclusive to this set. And he's starting to look more like the movie character, which is good, especially now they've ditched the printed goggles. Now his black legs and torso have lots of belt printing that merges well with extra purple on the torso to create his combat outfit. He also comes armed with his trusty bow, and he has one black arm and one bearskin coloured arm. And at the back, the torso's purple and belt printing continues with an arrow quiver added on as well. And for his hairpiece, they gave Hawkeye the spiky reddish-brown one, which he had before. And we applaud the creators for not giving him a printed goggles head, but it's odd the dual headpiece they went with is the same one as Captain America's in the Black Panther Pursuit set, with normal and angry faces. And that's probably why Captain America didn't get his other headpiece, and it's a bit silly they didn't give him a new or different headpiece, especially after they put so much effort into his outfit. Anyway, overall, this Hawkeye is so much more like the movie character than previous versions, which is great for fans, and we are loving the look, but we will definitely change the headpiece. Moving on, we have Hawkeye's purple bike, and it's got a silver construction with purple body and two cross-country tyres. And on the front, between the handlebars, there's this Avengers sticker for extra detail. And Hawkeye simply clips on, ready for battle. Overall, it's an okay vehicle, but nice to get in the set. 
Next up you get two fire pieces which you can use with the exploding play features and there's a super jumper too which Spider-Man can use and it's nice to see it in this set. And now we have one of the play feature builds, the windsock flag, which is something you would see on an airport runway. And to accompany them you get two grey Roxxon fuel barrels with yellow tops and the sticker logos add extra detail on the sides. Now the flag itself has a black base with red and white pieces decorating it with the checkered plate construction running up the flagpole's bottom and it's a good look. And at the back of it there's more plates and you can see that the flagpole connects to a hinge play feature which we will demo in a second. And on top the orange windsock flag is a cone piece clipped on the grey pole and it can rotate which is handy for play. And to activate the play feature you can simply push the flag down like so. And then you place the fuel barrels at the front on the base and once you've put the fire pieces around and launched Spider-Man at it, it creates a cool explosion for play and we love this feature. And finally we come to the set's big build, the yellow and dark grey Roxxon tanker truck and we are loving its look with different design cab and big trailer. And the cab has two wheels either side with grey rims around them and on the front is a sticker number plate, grill and lights with a large windscreen above. And the roof is this one dark grey piece with some orange lights added on which is simple detail. And if we come round we have the other wheels and the back where there's the common fire extinguisher accessory and trailer connection pieces for hooking it up. And to get in the cab the roof and windscreen simply unclip which is easy to do and inside weirdly there's no steering wheel and just a control panel sticker so we're not sure how anyone would drive this and we guess they just missed it out. And because you don't get a driver, we clipped in Captain America, and then you can clip on the roof piece ready to drive off. Now the fuel trailer is really nice and you've got two wheels at the back with grey rims just like the cab at the front. And at the front of the trailer is this Technic pin connection for connecting it to the cab. And if we move up the yellow plate top adds to its design with three grey round pieces giving it a fuel tanker look. And the sides are curved thanks to all these sloped pieces and it gives it a cylinder shape and the rocks on stickers either side are a cool touch as well. And at the back is this round grey plate sealing the tanker and there's also red brake lights. And to hook up the trailer you simply use the Technic pin that clips into the cab and it's very manoeuvrable which is great for play. Moving on we have the truck's play features and these involve turning this wheel on the side. And when you turn it, two roof pieces blow open and the back plate pops off, revealing these trans orange fire pieces inside. And we love how they pop out like the tanker truck's been exploded open, and we can see this being very fun to use in play when you're having a battle. And it's actually a double feature because you can launch Spider Man at the roof piece to extinguish the fire, and it adds to the fun, and we love doing it again and again. On a final note, the LEGO Tanker Truck Takedown was worth waiting for because the price is great for the awesome printed new and exclusive Spider-Man and Hawkeye's printing is cool too and Vision's good to get in a smaller set as well and Captain America's not new but he completes the lineup nicely. And the flag and truck build are very cool with their exploding play features, especially the truck as it can be extinguished with the Super Jumper and it's nice they put a Super Jumper in the set. But the truck cab's missing steering wheel was a bit odd. However, we can see this being a fun 2 vs 2 Civil War battle set, or it would go well with the airport battle set, expanding your minifigure range and battles. And because we were really impressed, Brick Bros UK is giving the set a brick rating of 5 out of 5 bricks. Hope you enjoyed a Brick Bros UK review, don't forget to check out our channel for more LEGO reviews and like, comment and subscribe to Brick Bros UK.